Hey, welcome back to Linda Cubed again. Again. And as promised last time, off screen, we saved the game. So we can just continue on with our journey. Linda wants to get us to level 3, but if we're going to be leveling up anyway... Remember last time we did purchase a few animals to go in the ark? Got, you know, the pig family, a male ostrich, and a female dog. So let's just go ahead and sign up for the astro ark and deposit these animals. Like I was touching on the last episode. In addition to leveling up in a conventional way like other RPGs, if you go to this contraption here and deposit the animals on the astro ark, like I was saying last time, if Ken deposits a male into this rib cage, bladder, stomach, uterus thing, uh, he'll get some stats. If you deposit a lady animal, Linda will upgrade her stats, but we gotta sign up as the Astroarch pilot first. All Astroarch systems awake orders from the Patriarch. Equipment in this room can only be used by registered Astroarch pilots. So let's become one of those. We just have to jaunt on over here. No problem, hop, skip, and a jump away. May there be one male pilot to lead the Astro Arc. That's me, he who seeks it. Enter the left side pod and lay down your right hand. Okay, I will. Any pilot to be must place his or her right hand down on the red panel. There we go. Ken Challenger, human male. As we soak in this oddly creepy screen. I think it's like... I mean, it's kind of creepy, but... I think that eerily tense music accompanying it that's on the arc kind of adds to the ambiance. The mothership accepts you as pilot and patriarch. Ken, welcome to the Astro Arc. Astro Arc, patriarch, Ma Linda's the matriarch. Look at all this arc system. Some might even call this arc the lad collection or something. Anyways, we're gonna deposit those pigs as promised, as well as the dog and ostrich. So we'll just drop them right in here, somehow. Yeah, Ken gains an assortment of stats. Naturally, for the weaker animals, you don't get as much of a stat boost, but some other animals, it's like, oh, it has high defense, so Ken will get, like, five defense or something. We'll just drop them all in here. We'll still be fighting pigs. We can still collect them for their, you know, their meat and whatnot, if need be. So there, get a little more stats. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I, I glossed right over that, but when we deposited the female dog, Linda learned the skill Lick. Which, the skill Lick, normally, like, your puppers get that skill, but eventually Linda and Ken both get, like, animal skills. Lick will just heal a party member, which is, as you could imagine, is helpful. Especially with limited uh, inventory space. I don't find, really, in this game that running out of, like, MP, or as it's called in this game, BP, is, like, a huge deal. I very rarely ever run out of it. Unless I'm doing, like, late game stuff and being really just... Just inconsiderate about my magic usage. Let's just check out our lover's den here. This is where Linda and I will be spending our time once the arc gets going. I think this is supposed to be a bunch of... One of the NPCs in the game is like, Oh, you have so much entertainment! And, like, encyclopedias and stuff. I think that's when, what's in these lockers. Yeah, but, uh, we didn't show this picture off last time. A familiar photo hangs on the wall. Here's Linda and her family. There's her dad, Hume. A few other people I don't even really recognize at the moment, but I'm sure we'll talk to them and be re-familiarized. I mean, that's Ken's moment. I guess it's probably just... Oh, that must be, uh, Gene. Yeah, Gene and, and your mom and your Mimi. Yeah, Linda, Hume. That makes sense. Okay. And is that... Is that Ken down there? Must be. We got our kitchen all neat and tidy. Look how put together it is. We even got, what is it, two? We got four burners. Look at us go. No oven top. Uh, no oven. We got the stove tops, though. So now we've done a little bit of cursory. Oh, yeah, I've been, I've been running by these, but if you just walk up to any of these, if you have captured an animal, you can just look at it. A raptor, question mark? So we'll be running into a ra Not this playthrough, because it's blacked out, but... You know, something to look forward to later, we'll run into something that may or may not be a raptor? So let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Monago first. 
Because if we get to level 3 before doing this, there's like a little bit of... There's just like a little situational dialogue you can miss. Linda lives in Monago, yeah. Q14. Watch out for ostriches and squirrels on the way. So yeah, because they're in red, we haven't captured either, like the whole family of those yet. Yeah, Q14. We gotta show the map off, too. Once you cross the Eastern River and find the village, give Linda my regards. I will. You need a quick handle of the terrain before you go out to capture animals. As long as you're cautious, it's okay to get yourself a little lost in Neo Kenya. Make a habit to check the map with the circle button, and look for blinking spots to find towns and landmarks. That's another thing, too, and it's probably gonna sound obvious when I say it, but it's, like, very noticeable in this game. Like, if you're trying to fight an aquatic animal and you are also in the water, it's going to have an advantage, so if you can possibly, like, bait them to get on to land, not all of them will, but if you can, it can make your life a little easier. There's also transformations later, I'm getting ahead of myself again, but there's some transformations later that are also affected by the terrain, so those can be useful to varying degrees depending on the situation. Mimi, no, your mother is incredible. Only God knows how she felt when Jean brought you in. Only for him to up and suddenly vanish right after. Yeah. And yet, despite everything, she still raised you. Who had no one in the world as her own beloved child. A yeah, commandment. One male, one female. Two by two by two. Should us board this ark with worthy pilots. Signed, God. Let's go in here. There's other people in here, too. It's good to talk to every NPC in this game. It's good in RPGs in general, but, like... Also, especially here, because you'll find the odd NPC that'll actually give you advice on how to get certain monsters that you probably wouldn't figure out otherwise on your own. We got together and turned the spare room into the Astroworks top floor into a love nest for you and Linda. Oh, thanks. Eight, yeah, there's 800 days worth of food and essentials, two beds, and one sweet library. Yeah, packed it up with books on chemistry, medicine, cooking, botany, child rearing, movies, astronomy, you name it. That trans cargo unit you, you carry has an emergency retreat function. Incapacitated humans are automatically sucked into the unit before it's too late. To make up for the space, some animals inside the TCU will be set loose. So yeah, when you get knocked out, you don't lose money, but you do get uh, sucked back into the TCU and you lose some of your other monsters. Which can be very annoying depending on the situation, like if you got a... You know, a one-time only monster. But yeah, here's the map. And as you can see, there's coordinates. Notice how there's also this spot. This is the part that they consider the the west. Where the one that's, like, grayed out, that's below it, is considered the south. We won't be going to the south one this playthrough. Uh, but for scenario B, we'll get to go to the bottom map that's grayed out. But we won't be able to go to this one we're on right now. So that's, like, how it sort of eases you into the whole thing. Won't be worrying about these places just yet. We'll be going all these places, but we're not there yet. And yeah, this is what we've unlocked. There's a few other spots we can go to, but let's go to Monago first and worry about getting to level 3. But yeah, unless it's like super, like, deep water, you can walk through water in this game, albeit, you know, it's gonna slow you down a bit. So yeah, we'll worry about those monsters later. Yeah, monsters are, are on the overworld in this game. Although sometimes they're a little more cleverly hidden than other times. What shocked the original Federal Field Survey team the most when they first landed on Neo Kenya? It was those Beastians. The Feds were baffled by the notion that us Beastians snuck in first without a rocket. But our explanation is simple, we were here from the start. They're the ones who snuck in. Recently we've seen some Santa-clad fellas walking around to collect donations for charity. Heard that some Santas work green pharmaceuticals. We don't know how many of the guys here are just copycats. Shadiest Santa of them all is one always shouting, Brother! Brother! I don't trust that kid one bit. Oh, he should be more trusted. Notable anim animals in the area are the pig and the squirrel. So yeah, because we got the pig, it's in white. So it's not, you know, not something to really mind too much. We advise all tourists to hire an escort level 4 or higher. Finally, there's a stray dog den along the southern coast. Yeah, I advise you stay away. I also advise you stay away. Dogs are really strong at this point in the game. You will probably get destroyed. Even though we have our own dogs, you will probably get destroyed. Don't worry about the dogs just yet. <coughs> Linda's house is the big modern looking building to the left of the church. Her dad took some hefty loans out to build it, even with the Grim Reaper on the way. What a dumbo. 
The house won't fall into the grave the same way debt collectors will. I mean, you have a point. So back here, there's like an animal, another animal place where there's an animal Wikipedia thing. If you need... Like we're saying, you know, we're, if we can find the pig, yeah, it'll be whited out. So that'll just help you if you're forgetting the odd creature. Rangers still carry around the animal bo a Bible, right? Well, it was I who first developed it. Certainly there's room for detail and improvement, but that's where you whippersnappers come in. Maybe you can survey the field, scan some animals, fill in some blanks, and... Oh, don't mind me. If you ever want to show me your work, I'd be delighted to look. So yeah, be remember that guy. He's not, like, super de duper crucial, but just remember he's there. Anything in here? Anything in the inn. When initiating with an animal, mentally prepare yourself to pull out at any moment. That's another thing, too, like... As is usual with RPGs, you can run in battle. It's... Not a great option in this. This game sort of more expects you to just not put yourself in situations rather than... Try to pull yourself out of the fire once you're in one. Patience is virtue in this game. And yeah, the stuff I want. I mean, squid javelin, that's pretty good, actually. Crab helm's not... I can afford that. Crab helm, 200. I might buy that, actually. Let's do that. Let's buy the... Well, let's see what kind of critters are here first. Okay, we can get the lady ostrich for 12. We can get a, a boy dog we can just buy. Uh, I would rather get the Crab Helmet for 7 more defense at the moment. 200 bucks will be a drop in the bucket before long, so we'll just go ahead and... That'll help us on the onset here. Put the goggles on. There is the hotkey, I just, I usually never think to do it. According to immigrants, the Ark is a ship from ancient primordial legend. Even then, the animal collecting with wait. These are the people who say Bichon sound too superstitious and backwater? Apparently. Yeah, what were the uh, secondary elements? I kind of glossed over that. Yeah, gas resistance and light resistance goes up by two apiece. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Is it true Linda's tougher than you? Yeah, she's level three. Girl, something else, isn't she? You better take good care of her. I'll, she'll take good care of me, I bet. So there, that was worthwhile. Did we go in here? I don't think we did. Oh, it's the meat market. And the meat you got? You get another pig, Frank. Might not be bad just to have for some healing, but don't we have some Rico tabs? Yeah, because you can also buy, like, drugs healing, which doesn't go bad. Uh, in certain places. I don't think there's pharmaceuticals, like, everywhere. You must be Ken. Linda's told us so much about you that you volunteered to sail with her. Says you're already at level 3, really, at your age? Linda's lying, I didn't get there yet. We're all so impressed. Maybe she just trusted I would get to level 3 and was being preemptive about it. I always imagine I'd rest here too whenever my time came, but fate has other ideas. Yeah, that's a church. Yeah, let's just, uh, I just want to talk to Linda right now. Oh, and there's another Santa. We can talk to Santa on the way up. Sorry, Kenny. Yeah, Linda's always been a handful even since you were kids. Are you gonna say the same thing to me that you did in the Ranger HQ? Linda's mummy. Promise me, Kenny. Yeah, no matter what happens, take care of our Linda. That's my job. Please. Yeah, we've been through this. I forget if Linda's dad's kicking around right now. I don't have a precious key. There's Linda. Hey, check it out, Ken. You finally came, and I bet you're stronger than me now. You're wrong. You're wrong, because otherwise you can miss this scene. Oh, I know. I know. Why not test out your abilities? Wind up. Punch! If that was Smash Brothers, she would have, you know, she would have gotten a KO there. You alright, Ken? Ken. How come you couldn't dodge a punch from a level 2 chick? Well, you see... Should I hit you one more time? No, that's okay. I'm here whenever you need a hand or two. Oh, that Linda, she just gave me a hand. That was awfully nice of her. She didn't have to do that. So yeah, let's fight some stuff. Let's fight some stuff, put more stuff on the arc. Try not to get uh, emulsified by some dogs in the process. Maybe we'll even take a swing up to Ozport. Might not be a bad idea to do that this episode. 
We can show off some of the battle stuff here too. So. Just wandering around a bit. And yeah, eventually stuff will just spawn, and if you hit R1, you can check the animal Bible. Okay, didn't catch capture either one. Notice they're around level three, level four. These are their stats. We should be able to handle this. So let's get into a fight. If you get an enemy from behind, I think you get the advantage, in a sense that makes okay. This is the part you may have just noticed right there. This is the part, one of the main parts of this game that just blew my mind. So, notice how, okay, so you see that cross, like that green cross on the bottom right of the screen? See how there's like three horizontal lines on the top, three horizontal lines on the left? That means that there's enemies to the front of us and to the left of us, so you can actually get surrounded by four corners. Which I think is crazy, like, I can't believe I haven't seen this in more, like, JRPGs. Like, I think this is, like, a super interesting way to... to just freshen up the standard JRPG battle system, but... but still keep it fairly straightforward. Like, it reminds me of, like, how something in Dragon Quest that annoyed me was, like, sometimes you would get into an encounter, it's like, oh, we're fighting four slimes, but they're not in a group. You're just fighting one of each. Now that I've thought about it, it's like, was the idea that we were surrounded by four sides in, uh, you know, in Dragon Quest? This just has a better, like, visualization of it. But no, I think this is pretty cool, but at the same time, notice there's six enemies, so we need to proceed with caution. I should really probably just defend with Ken. If we can. At least their puppers are handling the situation pretty well. Okay, squirrels are running away. It's great. I should have defended again, but, ah, yeah, we're fine. Probably a good enemy grouping. Yeah, level two. And our puppers earn some levels. Okay, we got one boy squirrel, that's the main thing. No big deal. Ah, uh, yeah, let's fight some more squirrels. Let's just do it again. If I end up fighting a lot of the same monster over and over, I may very well start to cut some of these battles, but while we're getting started, while we're getting acclimated here, show them all off. Yeah, so Ken, just guard guard right now. Yeah, you can also choose to, like, cover uh, party members as well. Like, you don't have to guard yourself. You can guard someone else if you really want. And as you probably figured, if an enemy is behind you, they do more damage. And if they hit you to the left or right, it also does more damage, but, like, not as much as getting hit from behind. Stuff like that. Stuff like that you have to keep track of. I love this battle music, by the way. I was kind of mid on it when the when I first started playing the game, but like I love this too. There we go. I'll look at all that experience. So the more levels you get, the more like experience will scale down. So like if I were to fight squirrels at level twenty, I'd get like one experience. But right now we get like three, four hundred. We got a few ostriches. We need a lady ostrich, so we got to kind of we'll get any of them we can. But let's focus up on the. The girly one, because we don't have any of them yet. It's the one on the left. I think our dogs got this. Great. Perfect. So we also need some pigs. We can get some squids, too. Might be a little worrisome. Like I gotta say, if we fight them in the water, they might be too much for us right now. Yeah, let's fight some piggy, piggy, piggy. Look at him go, piggy, piggy. Look at that piggy, piggy. All right. Look at them all. But yeah, I really like the art direction in this game. It's very interesting. One of my favorite parts of this game is like, I want to see the crazy designs for the... for all these critters. And our dogs gain levels. Your dogs will eventually stop gaining levels. Sometimes they just... I think it's like so sort of at random. There's someone you can take your dogs to where it's like a, a dog fortune teller where they're like, hey, this dog can... we'll focus on this. Or whatnot. Uh, do I want to go to Ozport? I kind of do. I was, yes, actually, let's very much go to Ozport for a reason I didn't even think of. So this is Ozport. There's a, there's a few uh, things of interest here that slipped my mind. There's a few freebies here. So, firstly, if you go in here, uh, there's a treasure chest you can get that has a dog blade in it. So let's just equip that. Good to start. Good for starting. Yeah, 30 more attack. Let's do it. However, we're gonna find out that you don't necessarily want to overpower. Also, FYI, there is like a secret passage here, but... 
there's enemies down here that we don't really want to mess with, so... But it is here. How much do we have? We only have three. We only have three money, and... Now let's go to the equipment shop over here. <sighs> there's a few things in Ozport, like you can buy jewelry and stuff here. That'll pertain to the story a bit later. Um... Ooh, we got a new voicemail. We'll try to remember to check that on the way out of Ozport. But yeah, you can buy stuff to go on in your love nest. So if you have, you know, an overabundance of cash, you can spend it on that. This is where you buy your lottery tickets, but it's only in the summer or the winter. Seeing as it's spring, we can't buy any lottery tickets. So let's just go ahead and sell... Squirrel waistcoat. Squirrel goggles. Let's do that. I'm gonna keep the... Squirrel Needle. For now. Okay, so this is actually... I know we only have, what, 14 gold? I think that's plenty, though, for what I... want to get started here. So, every... Oh, he's not here. <clears throat> Maybe it's only because it's Scenario A. But, like, typically in the spring, there's a guy here that sells eggs. And if you buy the eggs from him, if you go to this particular animal place, if you go back here, you can incubate the eggs. This machine to my right is Big Mama, who can raise up to eight eggs at a time. If you find any eggs out in the world, remember Big Mama. So yeah, if you ever see any eggs, bring them back to this guy, he can incubate them, you can get animals that way. You can get some animals that way that... are otherwise very difficult to find otherwise. What animals are here? Well, I mean, I could buy... I could buy a lady squid. I don't think we need to, though. All right, now we can just fight one there. They're indigenous to Ozport. Anything else in Ozport I really want to show off right now? I don't recall if there's anything else particularly unique here. Like, there is a shuttle area. Like, this here, it's like, it, it beams you up to a... like a satellite where they ship people off to other planets and stuff, but it's not really... it's not really pertaining to a lot right now. Remember this tree, it's a, rel a relevant story bit later. A myriad of couples' names can be read off the cypress tree. So yeah, we'll worry more about the shuttle area when it's relevant to the story. Now let's just do another quick look around here. I think that's everything unique here that I want to draw attention to. Forget though. It seems like, at certain points in this game, treasure chests will refill. I don't know if a season needs to change, or if you just have to zone in and out of a place, or what. But, like, let's see if we can... I don't know if it'll work right now. I just want to see if a dog blade will respawn. Otherwise, we'll wait for the season to change over, and we'll check again. We'll get to the bottom of it. I've definitely opened the same treasure chest several times in a scenario. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's still closed right now. So yeah, we got the pigs, we got the ostriches, we got the squirrel. We should just go back to the Ark, get our stats. Maybe see if we can't fight a squid. We're level 3 now, aren't we? I think so. Yeah, we're level 3. It doesn't hurt to overlevel a little bit. Conventional wisdom with this game would say, like, not to overlevel, but... I would kind of disagree. Alright, I'm gonna edit out this battle with the pig. Come back here. There are a couple more piggies in the TCU. Oh yeah, I haven't been showing these off either, but like, you'll notice these, uh... You know, these dilapidated ruins, and you'll see a teleporter, and there's like a... Statue here. Long-necked, long-necked Beastman statue, hmm. Wonder what that's gonna be for. Just bear those in mind, you'll, uh... They will certainly become more relevant later, but for now, we're just gonna build some intrigue. Let's see if we can find squid in here. That was, that's a very aggressive one. Can I get it to come up on land? It's thinking about it. Yeah, attack, 148, 123. That's our defense. I don't, I don't think that's a great idea. Let's just turn tail here. Let's farm some ostriches first. There, I took out the three overworld overdrive ostriches. We gonna gain a level? Yeah, I thought we might. Oh, and you got the camper tech. Camp to recover outdoors there. Now we don't have to go to the inn to recover. However, if you... Camp, you do run the risk of being ambushed at night. And if you do, 
you will be in sleep. Not only will you not have recovered your stats, you will also be inflicted with sleep status, so you need to be careful where you're camping. Okay, our puppers are a higher level. So let's just, let's take a jaunt back to the Ark, and then let's talk to Linda again. Let's get some, let's get some even more stats right now. See if we can earn additional abilities, also. I don't know if it's like random, but like it seems a little... Like I don't know if it's just dependent on sheer numbers of critters deposited. Uh, more stats. Squirrel. Got an ostrich, alright. Level up Linda, she'll appreciate him. So yeah, let's go to Monago again now that we're adequately leveled. Ken, I told you to get to level 3, you got to level 4. You'd never listen to me, Ken. Gosh. It's like talking to a brick wall over here. Back on over to Monago. I was running. We can check the church out, too. On the way out. Apparently Linda's mom and dad divorced four years ago. I never knew. Her dad works in Parasite as a proxy hunter. Someone should contact him. It's another feature in this game. I never actually used it the entire time. So you don't need to, but like... If you have the disposable income, it might not be a horrible move. Especially if you're struggling to find some monsters. We'll get to them. We'll get to them. There's a lot of little things in this game. It's... There's a fair amount to unpack before we can really start to focus up. If you want to visit Linda, okay, Hospico's in V13. Go cheer up for us. Oh, well, that's great. Go to V13. Which is... I believe we have to take the tunnel. Over to the more eastern side. So let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's run on over. We could fly, but we don't really have the funds for that. There are definitely new enemies over here. We're gonna try to avoid them for now. Let's just... Let's go speak with Linda and Hospica. Yeah, you get these tunnels separating different spots. There's a tunnel to the west side as well. No tunnel to the south that I've noticed. You have to fly there. Yeah, there's Hospico. So if I recall correctly... Linda is around back, like this. It's like two disconnected buildings. It kind of threw me off at first when I came here. I believe she lives on Ward 2. Yeah. Ah, you must be Ken. I'm Director Chen. <laughs> it's a match made in heaven. Now about Linda's condition. She's a little weak, but it's nothing severe. Physically, she'll recover in no time. There is one concern. Here, the shock of Linda's experience gave her amnesia. Now I've made you wait long enough, we can talk later. Come say hello to Linda. I will. Forgive me for asking, especially if you came all this way to see me. But... No, Linda, what happened? Who are you? Are we related? We are not related. I hate to bother you, but please, tell me. Why do you hate to bother me? From childhood to present day, Ken took his time telling Linda about their shared past. I see. So, you're my childhood friend, like, my life partner? Yeah, you can say that. You can certainly say that. Almost sounds like we're engaged, huh? We're engaged in this Astro Arc adventure. I'm so sorry. I can tell from your patience that you're a good person. I love when you lie to my face. But I can't remember any of this. Not even my soulmate's face. Well, that's amnesia. It's your typical... You, that's how you know it's an RPG. We got an amnesia story. God, you must hate me right now. I would never, Linda. Yeah, I do. Don't worry. If it's not... any trouble... you come see me again, I would happily come see you again, Linda. So, she didn't remember you after all. Because amnesia is such a varying disease, there's no set cure. Fortunately, however, there is one drug elsewhere in Neo Kenya made to treat memory loss. Ultimately, it takes a long time to get her claws on a good drug for these rare cases. Let's hope she'll work with us until we get a reply. Work hard and hone your skills. Speaking of claws, yeah, I, su I suggest you make some gear using crabs. Doctor's orders. 
Yeah, crabs. As yeah, like the helmet we made was very good. Crabs too. I maybe it's more the hermit crabs. I don't think they're worth a lot of money like to sell. But in any event, so next time on Linda Cube, we can level up a bit more. We can collect a few more monsters to put on the ark. Let's visit a few dungeons, get even more monsters, and visit a few more towns and show off some other new features in this game. So I'll catch you in the next one.